Hi, this is Pastor Rick. Thanks for joining me again today. Um, I was just reading in my Bible something that is a real encouragement to me. I hope it is to you. Sometimes people, uh, good people, suffer. And sometimes they suffer even though they are good. And they suffer uh, sometimes for doing the right thing. So I want to share this with you. It's in 1 Peter chapter 3, verse... 14 it says but even if you should suffer for righteousness sake you're blessed and do not be afraid of their threats nor be troubled but sanctify the Lord God in your hearts and always be ready to give a defense to everyone who asks you a reason for the hope that is in you with meekness and fear let's take a look at that passage of scripture it talks about suffering for righteousness sake that means um, not because of something that we've done that offends people in the sense of uh, our our uh, doing something that's self-willed or ugly or unkind but sometimes we suffer for doing the right thing for being kind to others and sometimes others resent that one of the greatest kindnesses we can ever do is to share our faith in jesus christ with people who need to know the Lord Jesus Christ for themselves. And there are those who will oppose us and even attack us for our faith in Jesus Christ. It says, uh, do not be afraid of their threats nor be troubled. There are those who will threaten you from time to time. And you know, when you are persecuted for being faithful to Jesus Christ, you're in good company. Jesus Christ was opposed and threatened and accused of many things, and yet he always remained without sin, and he always loved all of us, even though we are sinners and need to be forgiven. But Jesus Christ tells us in his word, and this is through the, the Apostle Peter, he says, don't be afraid of their threats. They're times when people will threaten us and we don't ever need to be afraid. God has not given you or me, if you're a believer, a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. So don't let them shake you up. It says, nor be troubled. I mean, don't, don't let them shake you up. But sanctify the Lord God in your hearts. The word sanctify is an interesting word. It means to set God apart to in your heart from anything else and anyone else. It means also to set yourself apart unto God. Trust Him and uh, let Him be the Lord indeed in your life and you will be glad because He will establish you and He will protect you. It says, uh, always be ready to give a defense to everyone who asks you a reason for the hope that is in you with meekness and fear. Always we should tell the truth we should tell the truth in love, and we should tell the truth in meekness. I'm talking about humility before God and others. That doesn't mean weakness. It means power, the power of God within you, harnessed under God's control. That's meekness, humility before God. So when we give a reason to someone for why do we still have hope and hope in God in spite of what's going on around us, or in spite of when we suffer persecution, or in spite of when trouble, any kind of trouble comes in our life, the reason why is we have faith. We know we can trust God. We know we can trust His Word, the Bible. That's why I read to you from the Bible. It's what gives me hope and encouragement. So, I say to you, do you have the question, do you have hope? in the Lord Jesus Christ. If so, you have reason for hope and you have reason to stand strong no matter what anyone else would say. God bless you. God loves you and so do I.